Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Sarah. If you are new here, I'm an employee at Funny Bones. Um, today I'm very excited. We're giving you part two to the cryptid video. So if you haven't seen part one yet, I'll post it in the description box below, or you can just scroll back through our videos. Um, so in part one, I went over the game, um, the components in the box, how to set it up and how to play. And then in this video, we're going to be doing a playthrough with me, Andrea and Lauren. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. Alrighty, so we have set up for a three player game and we're all going to read our clues now. So you have book B, it's going to be clue 45. You have S, it's going to be clue 43. And I am E and I read clue 51. Okay, everyone got their clue? Yeah. Okay, so I'll start, I'll begin. So I'm going to place it somewhere where it could not be and it cannot be here for me. So now Andrew's going to place a cube on where it cannot be for her. Do that one more time. Okay. Perfect. So now the game will begin. So um, I'll start. So you grab the pawn, and again on your turn, you're either going to question or you're going to search. So I am going to place it. Um, I think I'm going to place it here, and I'm going to ask Andrea, can the cryptid live there? So in this case, she either needs to put a maybe round token, or she needs to put a no cube. Based on the clue that I just... Based on the clue that you read, yeah. So she, play, she placed a no, so that means on my turn, since I asked her, I also have to place a no. So I'm going to place my no right here. Okay, so now it's Andrea's turn. So she's gonna take the pawn, she's either gonna question or search. So she can put it anywhere on the board and she's gonna be asking me or Lauren. Okay, uh, Lauren, can it live there? No. Okay. <laughs> so it is a no, so Andrea now has to place another no token on the board as well. Anywhere to fit her rule. Okay. So then Lauren will take this, and now it is her to her turn to sorry question or search. And what is search? That's just when you if think you think you, know. you, think okay. you know, yeah. Um, Andrea, could it be here? Okay, so then Lauren will also have to place a note somewhere on the board. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna ask Lauren, could it live there? Uh, maybe. Okay, so she's gonna put her little disc right there and then I have to, actually I don't have to place anything because it was a maybe for her. So now it's Andrea's turn. place a no somewhere else on the board. Now what Andrew is doing here is actually very strategic. We didn't really talk about strategies, but she's keeping to one little area on the board. So it's going to be very, very hard for us to figure out her clues where me and Lauren are a little bit more spread out. So it's a little bit of a My strategy. My response was wrong. It can't be here. Okay. No worries. So if you make a mistake at any point of the game, um, no matter if it's your turn or not, you just fix your mistake. Um, and it's Lauren's turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ask Andrea, could it live there? Maybe. Ooh. Okay, so it's Andrea's turn. Lauren. 
Lauren, could I live here? Maybe. Okay. Got some maybes going on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to search. So it'll be the first search. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I think it's here. So we go in a clockwise rotation. Andrea already said maybe. So Lauren either has to say maybe or she has to put a no. No. So it's a no. And then I have to finish it on the last player and I, I was the one that searched so I already thought it was a maybe. But now that um, spot is definitely not it, but I did think it was. Okay. Is there a um, number of times you can search or you can search as much as you On want? your turn, yeah, you can either guess or you can search. Okay. It's totally up to you. Once you start running out of no cubes, you start searching a lot more. <laughs> You'll see that. Sarah could have lived here. Uh, yeah, I could. Lauren's turn. Um, Andrea could have lived here. No. Okay, so then Lauren also has to place a no cube somewhere on the map. And this should be a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna say um, Lauren, could it could it be here? Yeah, maybe. Wait, no, no, it cannot. Okay. So that means I need to put a no somewhere too, so I'll put a no here. searching it's everybody so it goes in a clockwise okay. so you either have to put a maybe or a no uh, no and then I have to and it's a no for me as well and then Andrew you have to play one if it well, you said it was maybe so you have to put your maybe on it all right Lauren's turn now you do that you have to make sure you go all the way around the circle because something like that will really help you try to figure out the clues that's what we're trying to do right now so think about the possible clues like possible terrains, mm -hmm. um, look at where the no's are, where the standing stones are, and see where people are saying maybe and where people are saying no, and really try to figure out. That's the whole like strategic part behind Cryptid, is to really figure out what the clues are. Um, uh, I'm gonna say I want to know Andrea if it could be here for you maybe already to that and I'm gonna say no so since I said no you have to put your maybe on there and you have to put a no somewhere else on the board okay now Lauren it is your turn uh, I'm gonna search uh, Andrea can be there no. okay and since you searched you need to put a maybe token on that because maybe for you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For my turn, I want to search. I want to search um, here. So it, we're going to go around in a circle. So, Andrea, is it a maybe or a no? It's a no. Is it a maybe for you? Yeah. And it's a maybe for me. I think I'm getting kind of, I'm getting kind of close. place a no there and then a no somewhere else on the board. Oh, sorry, it's a maybe for you, yeah. Then a no somewhere else on the board. Okay. Lauren, it is your turn.
uh, Sarah could be there for you. Yeah, maybe. So I think I know the spot. I'm going to say here. Andrea. I'm searching. So Andrea, is that a maybe for you? Is that a maybe for you? No. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I totally thought it was going to be. Oh, darn. Okay, Andrea, your turn. Maybe or a no for you? Uh, it's a no for me. Okay. It's also a no for me. This was wrong. It could be a no for there. Okay, no worries. Um, Andrea, you have to place a no somewhere on the board. So this is Andrea's last no. So when you run out of a no, basically you're just searching for the rest of the game. So Andrea's not allowed to guess anymore. She just needs to search her turn. Oh, you have no... Oh, yeah, you have no. I thought I saw one behind there. I was like... Um, so can I still ask Andrea if yeah. it would be, uh, and then what if it was a no for her? Then it's our loss, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can tell her? No, you tell her, but we oh. just have to try to remember. Okay. So she doesn't have any no's left, but we'll just pretend it's a maybe for me. It's a maybe for me as well. Okay, Andrea, you are searching. Could it be here? So go ahead, place your yes yeah, or no. Maybe. Okay. It's a maybe for me. And it's a maybe for her, right? Yeah, so Andrea just found the spot. So the spot that the cryptic could live is right here. So we'll just read through our rules. So I don't know if you guys noticed, my rule was it can either live on a forest or mountain. So I, that's why my purple ones were all in the forest or the mountains. What was your clue, Andrea? Uh, within three spaces of a blue structure. A blue structure, I knew that, because yeah. this here gave it away so much for me. That's why I thought over here it was it for sure, because hers was really close to a blue structure. What was your clue? Uh, within three spaces of a green structure. Oh. One, two, three, yeah. Wow, so yeah. And that's how you play Cryptid. And that is how you play Cryptid. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us play. Again, if you'd like to pick a copy of Cryptid up, we do sell it in our retail store or online. I'll post a link in the description box below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching us. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. That would be awesome. Until the next time, bye.